Congratulations on implementing the MAC-800 EKG system into your healthcare facility. The MAC-800 utilizes the GE Marquette 12SL algorithm to help physicians provide accurate cardiac diagnoses. This video will provide you with an introduction to the GE MAC-800 covering setup and configuration, system navigation, and acquiring an EKG and rhythm strip. Please review the provided operator's manual before utilizing the system. Let's take a quick look at the unit and the external connections. The patient cable is connected to the port on the right side of the unit. Importing and exporting patient information, system upgrade, and setup data can be done through the SD card slot. At the back of the unit, you will find a COM port for connection to a KCS or MUSE system with a serial cable. The modem port is for an analog phone line that connects to the optional internal modem. A USB port connects barcode and magnetic card readers, laser printers, or keyboards, while the LAN connection is for an RJ45 network. The power connection at the back of the unit should be plugged in whenever possible to keep the unit's battery fully charged. The top surface of the unit contains the keyboard and display screen. Turn the MAC-800 on by pressing the power key on the upper right side of the keyboard. A flashing amber light indicates the battery is low, while a solid amber light means the battery is charging. The resting ECG screen is the default screen as noted in the top left-hand corner of the screen. The system is set for acquiring a 12-lead EKG. You will notice several indicators appear on the left side of the display screen. The lead labels identify the corresponding waveform and its quality. Display format and operating mode are displayed in the upper left corner. To the right, on top, are indicators for system time, date, and hookup advisor and heart rate on the far right. Across the bottom of the screen, you will see blue tags that correspond to the F keys on the QWERTY keypad. To choose a particular function, press the F key beneath the menu item. Press the F6 key to select more menu options and also to return to the main menu screen. While in the resting EKG function mode, press the F1 key for patient data. The patient data box will populate. Enter the patient ID by using the numeric keypad. Use the trim pad to change data fields and enter data using the keypad. For gender, in the drop-down menu, in the section that's highlighted, Press the Enter key for options by using the arrow keys to select that option. Check or uncheck the pacemaker box. Use the F4 key to page down. Press F6 to save, and you'll see the patient data in the top left side of the screen. Close the data entry screen by pressing the Escape or F1 cancel key. After entering patient data in the patient data field, press F6 to save. To record, Press the green EKG button on the right side of the keypad. The system will acquire a 10-second EKG and display a print preview. Press F4 to print the resting EKG. You can now select F1 for a new patient, F2 to print a copy of the EKG, F3 to store the EKG, F4 to transmit the EKG, and F6 to return the resting ECG options menu. If a rhythm strip is to be acquired, Press the Rhythm button on the right side of the keypad below the resting EKG button. The rhythm strip will begin and will stop when the red stop key is pressed. For advanced resting EKG setup, please see Section 9 in the Clinical Reference Guide supplied with the MAC-800. The paper access door runs along the left side of the unit. To load a new paper pack, press down the tray release button and open the door. Pull the paper lift tab forward and place the new pad of paper with the black marker in the lower left corner. Fold out the first sheet of paper to the right, taking care to position the paper on the positioning marks on the top cover. Close the door until it latches into place. From the resting EKG screen, select Main Menu, then System Configuration, then More to access Print Setup Reports. In the pop-up menu, select the report you wish to print. To save a setup, click on Select Setup from the same screen used to select Print. F6 to return to the configuration screen. Prior to placing leads, patient body hair must be removed to assure good contact. After hair removal, abrade the skin and cleanse with alcohol, then dry completely. Unplug unnecessary electrical equipment and place the electrodes in the following areas. V1 next to the sternum on the right side. V2 next to the sternum on the left side. V4 in the fifth intercostal space. V3 midway between V2 and V4. V5 next to V4 and V6 next to V5. The right arm needs to be placed on the right wrist, left arm on the left wrist. 
Place right leg and left leg leads on the corresponding right and left ankles. Please refer to the operator's manual for detailed information on lead placement. Thank you for purchasing the Mac 800 EKG system. This video provided you with a basic introduction to get you up and running with the Mac 800. Please consult the operator's manual for further information on utilizing the system.